after these eggs spend the winter here in the hatchery, uh, we'll take the fry out in the springtime to stock uh, tributaries of the Connecticut River, Massachusetts. That's, that includes the Deerfield River. Uh, we stock the Green River. We stock the North River, uh, the South River. All of these are major tributaries to the to the Deerfield River that are part of our Atlantic Salmon Program. What we're doing here is we're walking down the uh, down the stream with a backpack electrofisher. The backpacks are um, 24 volt. Uh, you carry a battery, and they're capable of putting 600 volts out into the water. Um, the shock is very localized. It's just a couple of feet around the uh, the probe. So you'll see uh, we're waving the wands through the water and there's a charged area around that wand and any fish in that area become stunned and uh, we're able to scoop them up in our nets while they're stunned and put them in a bucket. Um, they very quickly uh, recover, usually uh, inside of a minute. And then we'll put them in a live well and after we're done shocking the, the section of the stream, we'll come back to the live well and uh, identify all the species and measure each fish in millimeters. We capture and measure all of the fish that we catch, and the uh, information goes into a statewide database of stream surveys um, that are done every year, so we can come back over the years and, and look at the fish fauna in these streams. But specifically, I'm interested in the growth and survival of the Atlantic salmon that we stock. And based on the electrofishing information, I can tell the, the uh, percent survival through this first year. And because the salmon spend two years in the streams, I can get the present survival for the second year as well. And taking the number of those two-year-old fish, uh, I can get an estimate of the number of fish that are going to go to the ocean next year. So these are the two age classes of salmon. The uh, smaller one is what we call a zero, means it's not quite a year old yet. It was stocked in April. Um, when we stocked them out, there were, they were about seven fish to the gram. This fish probably weighs 100 grams now, so they grow really well. Um, the bigger fish is a year older. It was stocked you know, a year ago, April, and it's going to go to the ocean uh, next year. About half of these will survive the winter, and that's what we're doing here. We get an estimate of how many of these we find, expand that to the entire river that's stocked, and then divide by two, and that gives us an estimate of how many uh, smolts are headed for the ocean next year. Yeah, we've got a lot of Atlantic salmon, of course, because they're stocked in here. That's a young of the year brook trout hatched out in May this year. About 12 inch ground trout. Stock this is stock fish. Yep. And I'm pretty sure this is a long nose sucker because you can see some a good bit of his nose sticking out in front of the lower, the upper lip. Remember the reason their special concern is their uh, distribution in the state is limited basically to just the, uh, the Deerfield drainage at this point. We also have the dace, long-nosed dace, and black-nosed dace. Um, slimy sculpin are a, a native species that are found uh, particularly in, in cold water habitat. They're one of the species we use actually to identify cold water habitat. The colder streams up in the Berkshires, um, the really cold streams will have nothing but slimy sculpin in them. The ones that are a little warmer will have nothing but uh, sculpin and brook trout in them. And then as the streams warm up, we start to see the dace species in the streams. So this is a, an indicator of good water quality right here. We're, we're happy when we find these in the streams.